Hello, good morning. Uh, I am Professor Sunil Khare from Indian Institute of Technology, Delhi. We are working on this EPG Patsala program of UGC and we are covering the subject biochemistry. This paper is about the structure function of biomolecules part 2. Today's lecture will be on virus both DNA and RNA kind. This lecture should cover what are virus, how do they infect the cells, how do they replicate in the cell and what are the consequences. Uh, this lecture is going to cover what are the viruses and their classifications, how do they infect and replicate in a host and then we will discuss the virus like particles, viroids and prions. The concept map for this lecture is that we are going to cover DNA viruses, RNA viruses and DNA RNA viruses. Under DNA viruses, we will cover single stranded DNA virus, double stranded DNA virus, single stranded RNA virus and double stranded RNA virus. Viruses are submicroscopic acellular entities consisting of either DNA or RNA as their genetic material and often encapsulated inside a protein coat. They are obligate intracellular parasites. They can only replicate and propagate within a suitable host live cell. Infectious agent for a gamut of diseases like AIDS, herpes and pox are actually viruses. They are also considered to be a link between living and non-living because out of the host they act as non-living. The viruses possess their own genetic elements distinct and independent of the host genome. They can exist in extracellular forms outside the host cell for very prolonged period of time. Upon infection, viruses use the host metabolic machinery to carry out their replication cycle and produce more virus particles for translation into mRNA and protein synthesis. The studies of virus is known as virology, the variolation or vaccination, the scientific technique of imposing protection to viral disease by prior inoculation of attenuated viruses was popularized by Edward Zener in 1798. The first study were conducted on tobacco mosaic virus which was first crystallized in 1930s. The viruses are used as potential tools of genetic engineering, a positive side. In the structure, they consist of viral DNA or RNA inside a nuclear capsid. This capsid is composed of proteins called capsomeres. There are four types of viron structure. One, these are icosahedral structure which have 20 triangular faces and 12 vertexes appearing spherical under low power of microscope. Secondly, virus with helical symmetry are shaped like hollow protein cylinders. Third structure could be the enveloped one where viruses have an outer membrane over their nucleocapsid giving them a roughly spherical shape though inside the nucleocapsid may be spherical or helical. Lastly, a complex structure where viruses are neither isohedral nor helical. They can have different parts each having separate shapes and symmetries. Some of them have tail or multi-layered walls around their nucleic acid. For the classification, International Committee on Taxonomy of Viruses classification system was generated based on phenotypic characteristics. First, the Baltimore classification system is based on the nucleic acid present. So, it could be DNA virus or RNA virus, single stranded or double stranded kind. Now, based on the nucleic acid material in the viruses, they are classified into two classes, the DNA viruses and the RNA viruses. The DNA viruses are further classified as double stranded DNA virus, where replicate via DNA dependent DNA polymerase, then the single stranded DNA which create 
double stranded DNA first by host DNA polymerase. Second class the RNA viruses, they can be double stranded RNA virus where double stranded RNA genome is found, this include rotaviruses. Then single stranded RNA positive strand which is called sense strand RNA that kind of virus or single strand RNA negative strand which is complementary to sense strand RNA or reverse transcribing viruses. Here the reverse transcribing viruses they can transcribe RNA to DNA hybrid and use reverse transcriptase. Then DNA to RNA hybrid where replication is by a DNA intermediate. Uh, this table shows the salient differences between DNA viruses and RNA viruses. Double stranded DNA viruses are more common, whereas in case of RNA viruses, single stranded RNA viruses are more common. The DNA viruses replicate inside the nucleus of the cell, while RNA viruses replicate in the cytoplasm. DNA viruses integrate with the host genome and use its machinery to synthesize protein, thus they modify the host genome, whereas the RNA viruses inject their RNA into the cytoplasm of the host, synthesize protein, host DNA is not modified in this case. The first transcription to RNA occurs followed by translation to protein in case of DNA virus while in RNA virus the transcription stage can be skipped and distinct synthesis of the protein occurs directly. The mutation level are low in DNA viruses while RNA viruses mutate quite fast. Now the viral replication this is quite important. The typical feature of viral replication are attachment. This involves absorption of viron to the susceptible host. Then second step is the penetration. In the penetration the virus particle is uncoated and it releases its genetic material from capsid to inside the host cell. Third step is synthesis. During this step the virus directs the host machinery for synthesis of nucleic acid and protein. Last step is assembly, maturation and release. In assembly and maturation, the synthesized capsid and genomes are channeled to different location in the cell for assembly and release. The release is where the assembly particles first bud out in enveloped form from the nuclear compartment and then fuse with outer cell membrane, the release may occur by budding through cell or by cell lysis. There are two kind of cycles in the virus, lysogenic cycle and lytic cycle. In lysogenic cycle, injection of viral DNA is there and that integrates into the host genome for their replication. In the lytic cycle on other hand, Protein synthesis and assembly of viral particle take place and cell ruptures to release viral particles. That means the viral cycles in other way can be grouped into two phases, the lysogenic cycle and the lytic cycle. The lysogenic cycle where DNA and integration into host genome takes place, whereas in the lytic cycle the protein synthesis, assembly and release takes place. This picture shows both lighting and lysogenic phase of the viral cycle. So here you can see that first the phase attaches to host cell and inject the DNA. You can clearly see the bacterial chromosome there, capsid is outside. Second picture you can see that phage DNA is circulated and enter lytic cycle or lysogenic cycle. If it enters into lytic cycle, the new fast DNA and proteins are synthesized and assembled into virus and then cell lysis 
releasing more viral particles. If the cell has to go to lysogeny phase, then this DNA you can see in the blue actually is integrated with the host genome giving a prophase. And as the host genome multiplies, so does the viral genome and then there is a complete lytic cycle. More recently now we know about viroids and prions. Viroids are subviral pathogens consisting of circular non-coding single stranded RNA without protein coat. They use host replication mechanism through RNA polymerase too. Prions are actually extraordinary class of infectious agent made entirely of protein lacking DNA and RNA. So, you see that the DNA, RNA part is viroid, but if RNA part is not there and protein is infectious, it is prion. Many important and killer diseases like mad cow, kuru and Jacob diseases are caused by prions. Proyon proteins replicates itself by inducing conformational changes in normal wild type proyon proteins which are already present in the host. In this lecture, we learnt about virus classification according to their genetic elements either DNA virus or RNA virus. We also discussed replication of virus inside the host cell. The viroids and proyons were also discussed. In this chapter, we have learnt about viruses. Viruses are concerned a link between living and non-living. When they are in the environment, they are like non-living particles. When they enter in the host cell, they behave like a live material. They mainly consist of a protein coat and nucleic acid material, either DNA or RNA. DNA viruses are something like bacteriophage and RNA viruses are something like rheosarcoma viruses. RNA viruses have an interest because they consist of a reverse transcriptase machinery. Now the virus replicates themselves into the host cell by two major mechanisms, either by lytic cycle or the lysogenic cycle. Firstly, the virus attaches itself to the surface of the host cell, injects its genetic material. In case of lytic cycle, this genetic material uses the host machinery, makes its own genetic material copies and protein coats which assemble to make more viral particle cell bursts, the virus comes out. In case of lysogenic cycle, the genetic material of the virus integrates with the host genome live there as a prophase for a longer period of time unless it infects other cells for the lytic cycle. This is how the virus replicates in the host cell. Having understood the cycle of the virus, the structure of the virus, their replication process, it is also important to understand that these are causative agents for many of the diseases in human being. Many common diseases are, for instance, polio caused by polio virus, influenza caused by influenza virus, measles, smallpox, chickenpox, rabies, all these are virus borne diseases. Hepatitis affecting our liver is also caused by the virus. Rotavirus are implicated in the infant diarrhea. Retrovirus causes cancer. HIV is well known now to be caused by the viruses. There is no remedy so far for treating these virus diseases except that we have to have vaccination against them. We had epidemic of dengue every year now which is again a virus. So it is very important to understand their structure, physiology and create vaccines against them.